Hi, I'm Natasha, and welcome back to Element 14 Presents. You know, most birthday cakes have happy birthday written in icing, but what if they could have happy birthday written in LEDs? Can you embed an LED matrix inside of a birthday cake? That's right, we're taking birthday cakes to a whole new level. You've probably guessed that it's my birthday! It is. And earlier this year, Lizzo released an amazing birthday song. It's called Birthday Girl. If you haven't listened to it, pause the video, go listen to it, come back. It's like a disco anthem. So that was my inspiration for the cake. A disco ball cake topper with LEDs wishing you a happy birthday and asking you to make a wish, which is another lyric in the song, and all tied up in a bow to look like a present. For the LEDs, I got two of these flexible 8x32 NeoPixel matrices. It's like when you see this online, it looks like a lot of LEDs, but then when you're holding them in your hands, it's a lot of LEDs. And this is going to look amazing wrapped around the cake. For the microcontroller, I used the Arduino Nano 33 IoT because that's what I already had. So the idea is to put one of the matrices in the bottom layer of the cake and one of the matrices in the middle layer of the cake and then drape the fondant all over it to diffuse the LEDs. I have always wanted to see what LEDs would look like diffused by fondant, so birthday wishes are coming true, people. The ground and data are on this little connector here, and then there's a power and ground here as well. So I think I'm just gonna stick some uh, wires into the end of this to make a little prototype. I loaded the example in the Adafruit Neo Matrix library. I left it at pin six. And then a few things to change the width of the display to 32, the first pixel to left, and the layout to zigzag. Theoretically, that should work. Moment of truth. And then nothing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was silly. I used the analog pin instead of the digital pin. Okay, look. Already down here. Of course, I want it to say happy birthday. And I'm going to change this to give it a little bit more time to scroll that happy birthday. And then finally, I'm going to change at least one of the colors to hot pink to go with my theme for my party. Let's upload that and see what happens. Oh, this is gonna look so good under fondant. Oh, it's gonna look so cool. My original plan was that I would buy some pre-made cake and then just cut it into the shapes that I needed. But unfortunately, something like that needed to be ordered weeks in advance, so I ended up having to make the cakes from scratch. I went to NY Cake to get supplies like cake tins, buttercream icing, and fondant, all pre-made so that I had less to do, and eight boxes of cake mix from my local grocery store. I chose the cake mixes that said moist or moistest. Moistest? Is that a thing? Sorry to everyone who hates the word moist. I figured a heavier cake would be more stable to stick the LED matrices to. I've stacked my cake plate and my cake pans up like this with some mugs in between them to see how everything will look before I actually bake the cake. This prototype looks like a cake so much already that I almost feel like I don't even need to make the cake. Maybe I'll just cover this in fondant and then my guests will eat a separate cake that I buy and serve them from behind the scenes. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do that anyway. So with this setup, I used one pin and I connected the two of them in a matrix of two matrices. It shows you how to do that in the Adafruit NeoPixel Uber Guide. This time I'll use the tile test example. This section explains how to tile the matrices together. And in my case, I'm going to change this again to 32 pixels wide by 8 pixels tall. And I'm thinking of my matrix of matrices as a single column of matrices with two rows of matrices. So I'm going to change this to one column and two rows. And then on line 57, I'll change the type of matrix tiling to columns, and I'll do the same for the LEDs inside the matrix. Then I'll change it to say make a wish, 
and I'll give it more space for the text to scroll. For this one, I want the text to be huge, so I'm going to add a line to setup that says matrix that set text size and set it to two. Setting it to two will make it twice as big as the original size and three would make it three times as big and so on and so forth. Oh, let's change the colors. Uh, let's do white. Uh, let's do blue. And let's go with pink. I can't stop making things pink. Okay, let's upload this. So now I have Make-A-Wish using both of the matrices together. I'm running out of time. My party is in two days and I need to start actually making the cake because tomorrow is my birthday and the day after is my party. So um, ah, I just want to spend more time actually fiddling with this, but I think it's smart to get going. With each LED matrix being about three and a quarter inches, I knew that I wanted each of my cake tiers to be four inches tall. So I used this batter chart to determine how to make two two inch sections for each tier. So that came out to two cups of batter for the six inch cakes, three and a half cups of batter for the eight inch cakes, and six cups of batter for the 10 inch cakes. That was seven boxes of cake mix. I do have one left over for future baking. And then I had six cakes ready to go and a ton of dishes. I'll ignore that for now. So today is my actual birthday and I'm about to solder the prototype that I created yesterday together so that I can put it on the cake with all the wires managed nicely and everything tucked away and wrapped in saran wrap so that it doesn't get stuck in all the icing. So I'm about to assemble that and then the moment of truth is coming when I actually have to try to stick it to the cake and hope it looks good under the fondant. Now I have worked with fondant before but I've never actually draped a cake in it so this could be a very bad day <laughs> or it could be a really good day, I don't know. So I do have a backup plan. It's just if I don't like the fondant I can just cover it with buttercream and hopefully the LEDs will look good underneath that. Uh, but you know what, this is all an experiment so wish me luck. I made a little color code for each of my wires with markers so that I could use white cables so they would be hidden with the white icing easier. And I still had like a color coding system like you would have with a ribbon cable. With the cake stacked, I added the crumb coat and put them in the fridge to chill. Do you like winning free stuff? Are you an electronics hobbyist? Do you like building cool projects and winning prizes for what you build? The Element 14 community presents Project 14, the member-driven destination where you decide on the challenge. You enter projects to win monthly prizes and you vote on the winners. What are you waiting for? Join the Element 14 community so you too can enter one of our contests or submit an idea for your own. Join now! I shouldn't have connected these together without a way of disconnecting them because actually these are supposed to be in two different cakes and I want to be able to ice them separately and deal with them separately and not have like this string stuck between them. So. I'm going to actually cut this wire and use my little breadboard as a reconnection point because there is a spare row down here. So I'm gonna cut it and I'm going to put it back together in my breadboard on the back. And that will allow me to work with the two cakes individually. So this was a dumb idea to have this connected permanently. The plan was to cover absolutely everything that was going to touch the food with plastic wrap. That way we had a food safe barrier between the electronics and the food. I chose the press and seal style plastic wrap that has a bit of a light adhesive on it. I think this was a good choice because it was very easy to work with without it clinging to the wrong thing. And it didn't have a tendency to bunch up. When I wrapped it around the matrix, there was some excess on the edge that I didn't cut off because I thought it would make a nice transition between the hard LEDs and the soft icing. I also wrapped the wires in plastic wrap just to keep only the plastic wrap surface touching the food. This feels really weird spreading icing onto electronics people, but I seal it so it should be good. 
With the matrices in place, now I could see how fondant looked on top of them. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, yeah! Woohoo! Oh my god, that's <laughs> That looks so good! With my proof of concept working, I had to now drape the fondant over the cakes. Now, I had never done this before, but I have watched a lot of cooking shows and YouTube videos. And basically what they do is drape the fondant over the rolling pin, place it on top of the cake, and then unroll the fondant over. And I think it worked pretty well. It was hard to smooth the fondant over the LEDs because there wasn't anything sticking the LED to the fondant. And I think if I did it again, I might try putting some buttercream on top of the LEDs, like just a very, very thin layer so that there would be something to kind of stick the fondant to. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how hidden the LED matrices seem. This cake has the matrix underneath it. This is the second tier. And then we have the top tier, which does not have a matrix, it's just chillin and then this is the bottom tier with the matrix so the next step is going to be stacking the cake they have wires just sticking out of the back so i'm just going to leave that be until it's time to plug them in and then i'll probably need to like wipe them off <laughs> you don't know what i'm doing it looks like a cake Ooh, check all your wires Oh, end of the light. Okay. Oh, We're going to oh. turn around. We're going to turn around. We're going to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so cool. Okay, time for bed. For the top of the cake, I made a little tin foil crown to house the NeoPixel strip and plugged it into the Arduino. Ooh. Then I added my disco ball on a dowel that goes through the top two tiers of the cake to keep it stable. And I added a gum paste bow to make it look like a present. Now that the cake was set, I really wanted to try putting some other animations on it. So I'm currently reading through the Adafruit DFX library documentation. This has always been really helpful whenever I set up any type of NeoPixel matrix and it helps me understand how to code the different animations. So I came up with two animations really quick. The first thing that came to my mind was make it sparkle, and then I also wanted to make something that looked like sprinkles were just flying all over it. So here we go, sparkle and pink sprinkles. But my guests are arriving, so it's party time. Yeah! Yeah! being so much cake that I served this cake to not only my party guests but then I brought it to choir the next day and served my entire choir. It was actually really hard having to cut up the cake after working so hard on it but it tasted good. So now what I'm gonna do is try to harvest the LED matrices out of this without getting any icing on it. Even my little breadboard here, it got a tiny bit of icing there in that one little spot. So I'm gonna have to pick that out, I guess, if I wanna use it for non-icing related projects. But this guy's reusable, so that's great. Okay, so that's not too bad. At this point, I'm gonna wash my hands. And I'm only gonna touch the other side. And this looks pretty usable. If I did this again, I'd probably go around one more time with the press and seal because as I scraped it with the knife, I did put a tiny hole in it in just this one corner. So maybe an extra layer would do it. And I don't think that putting an extra layer would make the LEDs any dimmer because it really is quite clear. But there we go, a harvested LED matrix from the cake ready to be reused into another project. So what should I make next? Let me know in the comments. If I were to do this project again, I would definitely set up everything way in advance so that I would have more time to play with the animations. I mean, I had a whole 
matrix of LEDs at my disposal and I had only a few hours to put something together. Whereas if I had a whole week, it would have been so fun to come up with all sorts of different animations to put on the cake. Head on over to the Element 14 community to let me know what I should do next with my LED matrices. Until then, I'll see you next time.